A student produced this for UND's TV show, Studio One. Coaches are natural leaders for the athletes that they train. Their positive impact and their intellectual instruction build special relationships with the team. Now, a new program is helping coaches transform boys into men. Like every team, the Central High School Knights have many goals for the season. But what sets them apart is an activity that takes place off of the gridiron. You know, if we, uh, if we only teach these kids the X's and O's, we're not doing our job. You know, we want to teach them to become better people after they leave our program. Central High, along with other schools in the county, implemented a program called Coaching Boys Into Men or CBIM. And the basis of it is just teaching our young men how to be respectful and most importantly how to uh, be respectful towards young ladies and women. Coaching boys into men is used within athletic programs nationwide. A once a week meeting covers everything from healthy relationships and integrity to respect and personal experience. You know we start our session out just uh, with the bare bones, just basic conversation. Open conversation is what drives these sessions. Coach Lorenz says his athletes have taken the dialogue to a whole nother level, sooner than expected. We've talked about a lot of stuff. We've talked about everything just from like respecting other people, respecting yourself, and we've gotten even deeper into it, like how you treat women off the field. The coaching staff uses examples when pro athletes were charged with domestic violence or child abuse. The goal is to show how mistakes can be costly, even at a professional level. But if you can get a handful of them to understand uh, you know, what it is to, to really respect somebody, um, and not make a mistake later on in life, uh, it's worthwhile. What these players learn here will stick with them far beyond the final whistle. I'm Jake Aachen, reporting for Studio One. CBIM has grown from an awareness and action campaign into a violence prevention curriculum for coaches and their athletes. It originally launched as a public service announcement in 2001.